Welcome back to Studio STL. The arts truly bring us together, including groups of people who are into the fiber arts. This next segment has been sponsored by Yarncom. And joining me now is Heather Swan, the yarn queen. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am so ecstatic about this segment. I mean, tell us a little bit about what you do with Yarncom. With Yarncom, uh, so it is bringing community together through creation. Yeah. And so we really try to bring everybody that's into fiber arts mm -hmm. who are interested in knitting, crochet, but also weaving, felting, and really bring them to our table to have some fun and to create things together and make really that. fun wearable stuff. I love that. I mean, tell me about what you're wearing right now. So this is fabulous, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> this is a scarf I made years ago, mm -hmm. and then this is a shawl pin that is actually made by one of our local vendors. Oh, he is out of Sandville, Illinois. His name is Robin Goaty with mm -hmm. the Dancing Goats, and we carry a whole bunch of his items in our shop, and I just love any time I get to put one on with something that it's I've made. It's so cute and fashion <laughs> forward, and Thank I mean, you. not only do you get to wear items that you make, but you sell inside of the store yes. items that other locals have made as well. Yes. Tell us about what we you've do. brought in today. So today I have a variety of things. This is a sweater that I've been working on, Madeline Tosh, with another local uh, provider, Honey Girl Farms. She's out of Gerald, Missouri. And she actually is in the shop on Fridays. So if you ever want to see her, that's awesome. Um, I wove this um, in on a floor loom out of various uh, types of um, dyed yarn. Mm -hmm. And then um, we have several different other makers. Um, we really try to have a good mix of our big makers like Cascade Yarns, Loopy Mango, Madeline Tosh. But then we also like to bring in our local, our what we call indie dye or indie makers in the yarn world. So that's Honey Girl Farms, Verse Yarns, um, hand, uh, Dragonfish Handmade Goods, um, we also have our, um, oh gosh, Red Door Fiber Studio. So yes, yeah, so lots of great local to St. Louis, but also um, small makers across the country. And I think there's something to be said about handmade, good quality items through these different fibers. You actually sell a lot of products too. So it's yes. kind of like a creator's wonderland, almost, right? <laughs> yes, and we have also an art gallery. So mm -hmm. right now, Jean Vogel Studios has her cyanotypes, which is, this is an example here. This it's is beautiful. Homestead. And this is available for sale. It's $300. So I would recommend you come in. She uses uh, wet photography, um, uh, which is cyanotype mm -hmm. development. And then Sashiko, which is a type of embroidery that also brings in a meditative uh, process to it, which is also very important for us in our creative lives mm -hmm. to help with our mental health and taking care of ourselves. Yes, we're all about mental health here <laughs> on the Studio <laughs> STL. And not only do you have these amazing products, you have finished products, but you really do teach. And yes. that's what it's about. You have books here as well, but people can come and take classes because if you're like me, and you're not handsy at all, you might need a little <laughs> bit of guidance, right? We do have classes. We have a class starting tomorrow um, for people that have wheels that want to learn how to make their own yarn. Um, next week, we start a knitting class on mosaic knitting. And then we have a series of beginning classes coming up as well as more advanced in both weaving and crochet and knitting and felting and all the things. All the things. Well, St. Louis, if you are geeking out from all of the colors, the woven items, the knitted items, the quilted items, or knit, excuse me, you can enjoy it all at Yarncom St. Louis. Where are you guys located if people want to visit you? We are located in Creefcore on Olive Boulevard in the Bell Reef Shopping Center, which is at Mason and Olive. Yeah. So St. Louis, if you haven't heard, Yarncom is the place to be. You can visit them online, yarncomstl.com. You can also show them some love on Facebook and on Instagram. And what's better than both of those things is just showing up at the store, taking a class, grabbing your girlfriends or your guy friends, whoever you want to do. Go on out. Enjoy this beautiful store. It's a gym right here in our community. It's Yarncom St. Louis. We'll make sure you have access to all of that information on our website at studioscl.tv. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back after this quick break.